All right, Aaron's forehand. Let's get started here. I'll just let it run in real time a little bit, and then we'll dissect it a little bit more. So one of the things that I'm seeing that are, is really, really great is this little shuffle adjustment step right here and a wide stride into the ball. So that's really balanced, really nice footwork there, getting proper spacing. And again, it's that little shuffle step happening right here that allows you to have a good base and you're using your left leg here very clearly to drive in. And that's exactly what you want. Now, the one thing, if we want to be really, really picky, and I'm going to let that play here, is you could have potentially moved up even a little bit more to take that ball on its apex that I'm thinking is about here. So the ball is already on the way down again, and potentially you could have hit that ball just a little bit more here, which means that you're stepping into the court a little bit more and you're taking time away from the other guy. So that's really if I want to be picky, but all the fundamentals are here. It's really good unit turn. Left arm helps taking the racket back. Good loop, getting under the ball right here. Good follow through and right hip comes through and then the recovery. On the next ball, um, you're seeing that you're doing a good job moving back a little bit. So right here, good drop step. Um, there's no crossover necessary because you don't have to cover as much room, but you're moving back to getting that ball in your strike zone between hip and shoulder. And that's a good heavy swing then. And again, loading off that back foot here and then using that energy to create your brush and the right hip comes through and is completely relaxed. That's a good ball there. And you're able to move forward again. I picked this particular uh, forehand because I think it illustrates really well that you're doing a good job giving ground when necessary. So on that ball, obviously I'm feeding and you have time to move back to let the ball actually come into your strike zone, to have it bounce up to you. So let's look at that here. It's a pretty deep ball and you're letting it come into your strike zone, which is exactly, to my mind, what you need to be doing to catch the ball between shoulder and hip. Now, of course, you could have taken that ball on the rise, but if it's that deep and it has a little bit of a higher bounce, I think it's a better option to let that ball come up to you because if you're moving up to this ball here, does that ball actually, if you had moved up, would you have caught that in your strike zone between hip and shoulder? A lot of times we're forcing ourselves to short hop balls at the baseline and those are really unstable balls. So I really like that you're choosing to move back here, pivoting off your left foot, moving back with a drop step, unit turn happens hip and shoulder come back. And then here is a really good load off your back foot to be able to transfer your body weight forward again. Right hip nicely comes through, through the ball, helps with the shoulder rotation, of course, brushing over the ball and a good tactical decision to go for a higher, heavier ball. You see how high the ball clears over the net. I want to say it's about here. It's probably, what, two yards, hopefully, four, five, six feet. And then you see the result, really good, deep, heavy ball. And that allows you to move forward again to the baseline. Obviously, I'm feeding, so it's easier, and you know what's coming on a forehand, but you're doing a good job then using your close stance again, hip away from the ball first to then generate that energy that goes into the ball. Butt cap of the racket points to the ball, so that's a really good locking position. And you're hitting the ball nicely here. Weight transfer goes all the way forward, good finish. And then immediate recover back to 
the baseline or back behind the baseline. So that's a really good job there. I think with letting the ball come up into your strike zone, you're just helping yourself hitting a more consistent forehand. 